competition with one gold, one silver, one bronze, one fifth. And uh, Brazil in fifth place, one gold and two bronze. I just want to point out that when people start adding up these um, numbers and start extrapolating their own statistics uh, from this, China was not here. The Chinese women weren't here. The Cuban women weren't here. North Korea weren't here. And they're normally guaranteed to take medals, particularly in the women's categories where Japan have been particularly strong. So need to take that into consideration. Well, the judo has been absolutely fantastic. Incredible judo. Incredible. Denzain, they're, um, they're making some presentations, and we want to make a pre presentation here to Loretta Kusak and to welcome her to our uh, commentary team. This is from the IJF and a small oh, bouquet of flowers. Much. We made sure that they're silk, so you can take them back to the UK Excellent. with you. <laughs> thank you very much. So thank welcome you. to the nice team. <laughs> Fantastic judo. It's been absolutely outstanding. And... Um, I know there's a, been a lot of opposition on the forums about the new changes to the IGF rules, but something had to happen to bring our judo back to what it should be. It was, we had to bring judo back because a lot of it was just awful. Well, to be honest, I think you have to keep challenging the athletes to produce the best they possibly can. And when you try cutting corners, th then you see the quality deteriorating. But today and the, the, the previous days over this World Championships, uh, the judo has been amazing. And for such young athletes and to produce such quality and experienced judo, you yep. think they've had a lot longer at this. And end. it just shows that all of these athletes can do judo Definitely. when they're made to do it. The Definitely. point is they had to be made they to do it. They were challenged and they took on the challenge. They did what they were allowed to do before because they yes. were allowed to do it. Because they were allowed to grab the, grab the legs and drop on the knees and do all these other things. And, you know, I think it was the responsibility of the IGF to rectify what we perceive to be a big That's issue right. with the sport. Well, I think it's important when they're the head of the, the judo that they should be acting responsible for not only the, the, the technical ability, but for the athletes themselves. Well, if you want people to tune in and watch judo, that's what it's got to look like. It's yes. got to look like what has been presented here. It can't look like some of the stuff we've seen in previous world championships and no. European championships. And people in judo are forever complaining that we don't get enough television coverage, and that's probably the reason why. Yes, that's right. But when you're getting 80, 90 percent of Ippons, it's fantastic. I know it's great what a product. Watch. There's also a lot of senior players out there that must be very nervous at this moment. This is the anthem for Bosnia. Larissa Cecic, the gold medal winner. Plus 78 category. <laughs> Very proud moment for the Bosnian people, the whole coaching team, the president. been together as they had been in the past they'd have been second only to Japan and think of places like um, Slovenia they were also in there yeah in the mix Slovenia finished 20th two if you, bronzes you, if you look at that the, if you look at the former Yugoslavia you add up all their medals they'd have finished second only to Japan <laughs> 
And of course, there was one fight here earlier on, which was between uh, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. <laughs> well, it's going to happen anyway. So we've got another medal 